Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I want to talk to you about the motion blur in Infinite Warfare. This is going to be the first in a series of more critical analytical videos about the preview that we got to play, and it's a more negative one. In case you've been living under a rock, I got the opportunity to go out to COD XP, courtesy of Activision, play the game early, record, you know, play around with it, and learn some things. One of the things that I noticed almost immediately is that the motion blur felt kind of off. Something wasn't quite right about the game, and I thought maybe it was the monitor I was playing on, maybe it was the build, maybe something was goofy, but when I got back, when I talked to other people, and especially when I got back to the hotel and I could compare footage, all me and the other commentators and Reddit as well would notice that the Infinite Warfare multiplayer has motion blur built into it, like at an engine level. It's an effect layer that goes on top, and not many people in the community are very happy about it, myself included. I personally find it to be both ugly to look at, annoying to play, and annoying on a more professional level when I edit videos. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. About here in a second but I'm gonna warn you once you see this you cannot unsee it so here we go this is what my standard editing screen looks like and I am kind of skipping ahead a couple of frames at a time here and this isn't my editing program rendering this improperly this isn't uh, the disable resample not being turned on this isn't Sony Vegas having a heart attack or the uh, screen capture software chugging I'm purposefully only going ahead a few times a few frames at a second and stopping and you will notice that at different points either the foreground which would be the gun or the background being everything else is blurry you don't notice as much uh, during fast motion, but it definitely is there. And to compare to Black Ops 3, I can do the exact same thing. I can skip around a lot, and you'll notice that at no point... This is like a random old... I think this was like for Razor back in depth. It's ancient, right? At no point does Black Ops 3 or any other COD game that I'm aware of have the same levels of motion blur as Infinite Warfare, and I personally find this to be very annoying. As another example, I'm going to take the clip that you just watched before we went into Sony Vegas and slow it down incredibly slow so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And again, this isn't uh, my editing program interpolating. This is literally a frame by frame render. So I think this makes the game a little bit uglier to look at and it makes it harder for me to get screenshots and it's definitely going to be brutal for those of us on PC. But the confusing thing is, doesn't this also take more processing power? I mean, doesn't isn't it easier on the system to just not have this motion blur built in? Well, I do have some good news. I talked to an Infinity Ward developer at COD XP. He was a vehicle designer, so this is not his area of expertise, but of course he's in on the loop. And Infinity Ward has heard the complaints about the motion blur loud and clear. He said it was currently built into the engine and is kind of on a scale so that they can turn it up and down as they see fit. Of course, that'll affect performance slightly. And uh, he said that they heard all our complaints and that some of the people in the studio agreed and that it will definitely, I will say, quote, definitely be dialed down in the final build and he said maybe even removed. I sincerely hope that it's dialed down in the final build and I would very much so like to see it removed. I kind of got like a little smart assery in here and I asked him like, hey, is the motion blur turned on to smooth over any rough graphics for COD XP? And the answer I got was he said, no, not really. Like, yeah, maybe a little bit. There's rough graphics here and there, but it was mostly an aesthetic choice. They put the motion blur in because they thought it looked good or cinematic or made the game feel unique and something like that. And, and looking at the motion blur from an editing perspective, it does make sense. It does make the game, at least the campaign, look a lot more cinematic. I think the idea is instead of it being smooth and crisp and clean, they want to take that 60 FPS and add the standard 24 FPS motion blur to it that you see like on a, a for film, like at a theater, right? Like for Interstellar or something like that. Most modern games have features like this. Most of the fancy lighting, the dynamic lighting, the lens effects and all that sort of stuff, they're not really mimicking what human eyes see and how they react to a situation. Almost all modern games are designed to emulate a camera because it's easier to study cameras and because people are used to seeing action movies. And when they think about what is and isn't real, they're thinking about movies. So they're mimicking cameras. And this type of motion blur is another extension of that design philosophy. However, I think putting motion blur that is typical of 24 FPS film into a 60 frames per second twitchy video game is a very very bad idea and I truly hope that it's removed in the final build. Guys that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.